better vehicle to drive on a road trip. We're gonna test this autonomous driving feature that General Motors introduced uh, about a year or two ago on the Cadillac Escalade. Now, it has made its way to, fittingly, the Yukon Denali. So we first have to go in and we turn the cruise control on. Then we have to set the speed that we wanna drive. And then we set the distance that we want to keep from the vehicles ahead of us. So as you can see, I pushed this button here and it is activated. So now this Yukon Denali will keep itself in its lane, keep the distance on this marked highway. Let's try the commercial. And if you'll notice here, there is a little sensor right here over the Yukon Denali logo and this sensor is measuring um, what I'm doing with my face and my attention. So with this feature, even though it is a semi-autonomous feature, when this is highlighted, I can certainly let the vehicle take control. Still no input from me, but this monitor is focused on my face and to make sure that I am paying attention. I'm going to go ahead now and look away for an extended period of time and demonstrate what happens when you look away. And you saw it started flashing, and then I was looking away too long. Welcome back to the Auto Insider, where you come to find out what's new, what's hot, and what's not in the automotive industry. Well, this week, we got a hot one. It's the 2023 GMC Yukon Denali. It's fully loaded, all the way from the adjustable suspension, all-wheel drive, rear entertainment, and a panoramic roof that lets the light in from the front all the way to the back. Well, let's go inside and check out how this three-row beast holds up for 2023. And even though this isn't an Escalade, it has all the makings of a luxury SUV. And I bring up Escalade only because they're built on the same platform. And I often struggle with the idea of why would someone actually spend the extra money on an Escalade when you can get a Yukon Denali with this level of quality and craftsmanship on the inside. On this Yukon Denali Ultimate Edition, we have open pour wood with fine detail grain here on the dashboard. You have soft leather touch points here on the dashboard. You have this light color stitching in this dark color dash, really has a nice added bit of detail here. Here on the seats and the center console, you have this what I call baseball style stitching here right in the leather. And with this two-tone and the alternating uh, piping here on the seats, this is detail at its finest. So when you first sit down inside of this Denali and you start looking around the dashboard, the center console, here on the left of the steering wheel, there are enough knobs, buttons, and switches here that you feel like you may be flying a small private airplane. But everything after about two or three days begin to make sense. The only thing that doesn't make a lot of sense to me is the Prindle. I see why it's here, I know why it's here, I know it's created more space, but it's taken a lot to get used to for me. Reaching up here to put the vehicle in gear takes a little getting used to, but it does free up all the space here in the center and for good reason. We have here storage space as well as a wireless charger for your smartphone. You have two cup holders, and then you also have your controls here that aren't blocked by a gear shift. So you have dual climate controls here in the front seat, heated and ventilated front seats for your both front passengers as well as massaging seats for both front passengers now the only challenge with the massaging seats is i have to reach on these knobs here on the side make different adjustments it changes the screen it's a not as intuitive out as i would like to see it however once you get it up and running you'll forget all about the trouble you went through to get it started many times when we're talking about smaller suvs and crossovers I often point out just how much light comes in through the panoramic roof and how it makes the cabin feel so much larger. While we still have the benefit of this wonderful panoramic roof, there's no need to make it feel bigger because this thing is huge. If your kids are fighting over space in this truck, they're not the problem, you are. And then here in the center console, there's plenty of space all the things you're going to take on your road trips 
And there's a nice little trick to this center console that I want to show you. And here just above your head, there's a power control that slides the center console back and allows for more storage space as well as a secret drawer here you can hide things away that you don't need but you don't want people to find when it's parked close this back and there's no access to this when the vehicle isn't running and for those of you who live in a house one of these newer houses like i live in with the smaller than normal garages the height for your rear deck lid can be a bit of a problem when you open it inside of a closed garage but gm has you covered there too you dial this knob you can adjust the height of your hatch so that it won't go up and hit the ceiling or your garage door when you're getting things out now for the second row that's what you buy this thing for right well these captain's chairs are great you have reclining seats you can actually move them forward and back to allow for more or less space in the third row and these huge monitors here that you can plug up and play your smartphone devices you can watch movies you just plug them up right here in the center and you got the second row passengers all set for the road trip and both backseat passengers have their own headphones so they can listen to their movies without disturbing each other or the driver i think it goes without saying there's enough leg room for anybody here in this second row. You also have door locks here. You have compartments here to store things away. A third climate control for this second row. Your HDMI cords to plug up your gaming devices. USB fast chargers, one on each side, so there's no fighting over chargers. Then you have these cup holders here, as well as ability to store things here in your door pockets. And there are three storage compartments here in each door everybody has a place for all of their things you're considering an suv of this size you're probably going to want to use the third row let's see how easy it is to get back there so gm has made it really simple to access this third row there's a handle here on the side you move it once and you fold it twice seat folds out of the way these power step gates really make getting in here simple Pull this back, this up, and you're in. And as you can see, there's enough room back, back here for a full-size adult. Now, once you're here, you also have cup holders, you have USB-C fast chargers on both sides, as well as a overhead AC vents so that nothing on the floor can block the flow of air. Now, how do we exit? GM has you covered there too. On either side, there is a power button here that will fold this seat out of the way and the third row passenger out with very little fanfare. Let's check it out. And we're out. Now we have to talk about where form meets function. You need ease of access. And you always have to find that just right spot. But then when you're back here, cargo capacity isn't bad. You may be one of the future SUV owners going back and forth between a mid-size SUV and these full-size SUVs. This is where the difference really comes in, and that's cargo capacity behind the third row. Many times you do have to carry people in the third row, and you're also going to need luggage. You can get quite a bit of luggage here. Not enough for seven passengers, but you can get quite a bit of luggage here behind this third row. If you're not taking anyone in that third row, you can easily get rid of the third row with a power button. That's not enough room. You can even get rid of the second row as well. Now, there's almost nothing that you can't get from the big box store or even the Home Depot. And while it was super easy to get these seats down, it's easy to get the third row up, but the second row, you still have to do that manually. And I like the speed with which they come up, accessing it easy. And ease is a common theme for this Yukon Denali Ultimate, all the way from this power retractable step bar. Makes getting in and out of a truck this size easy. And then 
it's probably a very slim chance that you may ever take your $97,000 luxury SUV off-road. But if you must, if you look closely here, you can see this air ride suspension is adjustable. You can raise the height so that you can take this thing anywhere you want to go. That's all the time we have today on the Auto Insider, but for more of what's new, what's hot, and what's not, be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and then download the SoundCloud app and listen to all of our reviews in their entirety. 2023 Yukon Denali Ultimate. This is the hottest SUV we've tested in a long time. Now, it's a far cry from the Escalade V, but that's an aspirational vehicle. If I were spending my money on a full-size SUV, this Yukon Denali will get it all. Till next week, I'm Daryl Killian for the Auto Insider. Thank <laughs> you.